wants Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, able to break that one up. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. It's complete to Diggs. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. To the air, Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Tommy Sweeney there to make the grab. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Off the play fake. Here's Roethlisberger. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 at enemy territory. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. They'll try the right side with Harris. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and 10. Now Roethlisberger. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Now a stoppage here as we've got a Bill shaken up on the play. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Singletary to get the drive started. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. So, CD, big changes for 2021. Of course, last year we had the expansion from six to seven teams in each conference making the playoffs. This year, the headline, the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about a 17th game coming for a long time, and now here it is. So the beautiful part about all of it is that 17th game is going to be like these, these interdivision, interconference type games that are going to match up and play out over a four-year period. And that's kind of cool. And I was looking forward to seeing some of the matchups that were going to come out of that for that 17th game. And could that be the game that decides a bunch of division titles? On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 15-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show the defense. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. going to throw. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother, Connie, calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. Second down and goal. Allen. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. On the delay, here's Breda. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him four yards there, but they're still well short of the goal line with fourth down now looming. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have taken the lead. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Getting set to go again, Ben Roethlisberger heading back out there. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. Gets this to his running back. That's Jalen Samuels. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Ben to throw again. And he's got it. And in for the Steelers. Touchdown. Eric Ebron. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are going to retake the lead. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. Remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The 
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll take over with just 18 ticks remaining. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. 